the brothers and sisters, well, I've not got to the van yet, to be honest with you. <laughs> the Jack Russell's in there already waiting for me. But I'm just on my first tea um, and going through the news and everything else that, that appertains to the Isaiah 17, Ezekiel 38, 39 prophecies. That's what we're looking at happening around the Israel Damascus period is things that are going to destroy, surround and wipe out. That's the indicator of the time to go, brothers and sisters. The indicator of the time to go. The rattling, you know, as we as we get ready to go. But looking at the Arab Arab Weekly, Israeli army admits to airstrikes in Syrian Lebanon. Beirut in a rare move. The Israeli army acknowledged Sunday its responsibility for recent airstrikes in Syria and Lebanon. So this is hotting up. It's never it's not gonna stop now. We know that it's going to happen. Well, it's going to happen. Is it, are we going this year? I don't know. You know, I'm not setting a date. and I'm not a date setter, as you know. But I'm, all we're doing is looking at the signs and the things that we should be doing. Or things that we should be expecting to happen in, in the signs. Also looking at uh, the Jerusalem Post. IDF strikes Hamas. Hamas. Terror targets in Gaza in response to explosive balloons. The attacks are in response to launching incendiary balloons into Israel from Gaza over the past several days. So they're coming back. You know, IDF fighter jets, helicopters, tanks attacked a number of Hamas terrorist targets in the Gaza Strip in early hours of Wednesday morning. The IDF spokesperson said during the attack, military compound underground infrastructure and observation posts were targeted. So they're continually poking, I'm afraid Israel's poking. So this is the, the and they have to, you know, because it's, it's hotting up, it's hotting up completely. You've got to defend yourself. And they're the fifth most powerful nation in the world. You know, they're the fifth. And they did have, and do have America's backing to a, a large degree. But America, as you know, guys, is going through coronavirus, as indeed so is the world at the moment which is it's difficult to see how they can defend Israel under the fact that Russia is moving closer to the Gog Magog prophecy. It's all coming together. It's all coming together. I'd like to say nicely, but it's not really the right words to say, is it? But coming together needs to be God's plan. You know, if you're here and you're wondering what I'm about and this channel is about, it's about the promotion of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ and the advancement of the kingdom of Father God. It's about end times. End times to what? The end times to the Bible, as we know it. Getting near more fulfilled prophecy as the day goes by. Prophecy was what was written and is now happening. Thousands of years ago, all the way through the Bible, there's been prophecy. End time tribulation is from Revelation 6 onwards. Read it. And get frightened because it's coming because everything else happened so why shouldn't it happen it's coming how do you get out of it well god so loved the world that he sent his only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life in heaven there is a heaven and there is a hell there is a god and there is a satan and if it's been a war going on since creation you can get out of tribulation in the rapture, a part so. If you confess with your mouth to Jesus, Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be taken out before Jacob's trouble. You will not endure the wrath to use scripture. You'll be out. But you need it anyway. Because if you die between now and then, and you haven't got Jesus as your Lord, you're in hell forever. I've got to be stern about this. I've got to be stern about this forever. Our choices are forever now. So choose him. Choose this day what God you will serve. Choose, brothers, sisters. And I mean that because we all came from the DNA of Adam. We all started as brothers and sisters, even though Cain slay Abel. Sin crept in and took us away. What is sin? Well, all have sinned and fallen short of God's glory. All of us have sinned. We were born sin. But we be sanctified, justified and set free by the blood of what Jesus, of Jesus, what he did on the cross 2,000 years ago. To which all dates go and to, you know, 
It's significant. It was the most significant history changer in the world. Why do we deny it? Why do we not get real about it? It's serious. It doesn't benefit me at all, but it benefits you. It's a gift, a free gift, a gift of salvation. If you follow him, if you now pick up your word and turn to him and beg for mercy or ask for mercy, you don't even have to beg. You just confess. And then you can confess your sin. Then you'll get the Holy Spirit to help you through the rest of the journey. But talking about Holy Spirit, or rather, let me not finish the news. I got carried away there because that's what it's about. But US seeks more support from UN Council on permanently extend Iran arms embargo. You know, arms, 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 arms. The United States on Tuesday circulated a revised resolution that would extend the UN arms embargo on Iran indefinitely seeking to gain more support in the 15 members Security Council were veto wielding Russia and China have voice strong opposition. Let me just Russia and China, Gog Magog and the army from the north. China is a prophecy that says the army from the north will march in a, a, a mighty army, but it, it's a river. China can dry it up in 24 hours with the new dam. It's all set, game set and match. So what do we do? What do we do with each other? Christians, brothers and sisters, thank you everybody for who's coming to the channel and, and helping and supporting. Discord, Discord, get on Discord. It's, it's a place where amazing things are happen. That's where God's work for us is, is, is working. That is the church online global that we all need to be, well, we need to be in. That's the only place I can send you. I can't send you to a brick and mortar who's just going to preach a basic message. You need to know what's happening. You need to know the Lord. You need to know salvation. So, but talking about just a couple of interests, because I don't want to, uh, interesting point, I don't want to go off the commands of Jesus. And I'm always going to throw a couple of them in until we run out. But be a servant. This is a command of Jesus. Whoever, whosoever will be great among you, let him be your minister. And whoever will be chief among you, let him be your servant. Even as the Son of Man came not to be ministered unto, but to minister and to give his life a ransom for many. Matthew 20, to 20, 20 26 to 28. He came to be a ransom. Jesus was, was there at creation born. Jesus was born to Mary as virgin birth. But Jesus was there at all creation. At the beginning, he helped his father. It was created for him. Jesus came and died for us, to be a servant to us. See the turn? No God will serve us but Jesus. He serves us, and we must also serve each other. Not keyboard warrior. Serve. How can I help? Can I wash your feet? Can I put myself down and find out what you want, brother? The second one today and the last one will be, be a house of prayer. Now, when you are born again, i.e. you've confessed with your mouth that Jesus is the Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead and you're pulling you closely to him, you're keeping these things in your heart and your mind, be a house of prayer because you can now, you, you've given up lordship from Satan to Jesus. He is now the Lord of your life. You've given it over. So you can now pray to him and he's more powerful. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. You have control, you have dominion over your life for the first time since you were born. You have dominion. So be a house of prayer. It is written, my house shall be called a house of prayer. Matthew 21, 13. We know what that references to, but a command is to pray. A command is to forgive. A command is to try and forget. I know it's difficult to forgive, but make the effort. I know sometimes it's difficult to pray, but don't need to kneel down to pray. You can pray in your, on your bus journey, driving your car. Just start to communicate with God. Knock and the door will be opened. He will come in and dine with you. So knock, ask, communicate, be with him. Come with him. It's not about us, but we have a place, Discord. Join us on there if you want to know Jesus. 
and you want to know more. Watch out for the, the news that's coming. Uh, we're keeping a close eye on the prophecies, of which there was 154 fulfilled since 1948, to which Israel became a nation in a day, major prophecy. All I'll say is may God bless you, keep you, make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you this day and always. God bless.